I just made a video. I did. I did already. I made Hey, look. What do I have here? A Nancy Today hat. Look at that. Oh, hello. It's Nancy Today. How are you? Do you like the hat? Yes, indeed. Well, how is your morning shaping up? Yes, have you rolled out of bed yet? Yes. And so what is ahead of you? The mess that surrounds the bed, perhaps? No, we don't go there. First we leave the bedroom, we go to the bathroom, and then from there, the world is our playground. <clears throat> At least in my world. Isn't this a lovely hat? Wow. Were you there when I made it? I love stuff that's over the top. You know, I, I had a 45 really cool hats at one point, and they're all kind of in various states of decomposition because, of course, I lost flowers at an alarming rate. <laughs> ah, it's nice to see you again. Yes, indeed. Well, we have a snowstorm ahead. I suppose there are a lot of people today that maybe have no power. Unless the cell tower is working and you have a battery pack, you might be all right. But we're okay. We're up in Ontario, Canada. Yes, indeed. Nancy today lives in Ontario, Canada. From Georgia. Anyway, so I thought I would, now that I've cleaned the wood stove door, would you like to go see it? Remember yesterday I was going to show it to you, but, uh, or I was going to clean it. But it wasn't, it was too hot. or some reason I didn't do it, but today I did. So let's just have a look. You know, the house is in a real shambles today because I can single-handedly make a huge mess. You know, you would say it was a hoarder, but I think with a hoarder situation, things just seem to pile up and stay there. Not me, I just walk through and then we have this tornado of things moving. Look at this, look at this. Can you believe that door? Yes, indeed, and the only thing I used was dum da dum dum lemon juice. Isn't that perfect? I would show you everything else, but I think I shouldn't. Wait a minute, you're looking the wrong way. Quick, turn around, turn around. Oh, well, I guess you've seen it all before. Well, it's happened again. But there is progress over here. I don't know if you notice it, but this is all for making clay. And this is all for playing with clay. So, and that is for um, reclaiming the clay. So we have some real process going here. And then this has to do with this, which also has to do with dum da dum dum Hey, you like these tamarack birds I made? Aren't they amazing? Anyway, that has to do with this. This has come from there. Oh, we mustn't look in there. So, um, since we can't look in there, um, these things go in there. But first, there's going to be room there in a freezer. And it, although it looks really a shambles, and it is, I have stacked things very perfectly in the back and move forward and now I've made room for the freezer so I'll get that stuff out the freezer is going to come here and in but I have to make sure there's room in this doorway because there's another bookcase right here and a cupboard corner that might be all right yeah that might work but you see it's gonna have to go in on an angle so it, although it might work that way and I have to finish the floor we aren't going to look at that, though. Do you want to help me clean? Let's do it together, shall we? It's so much easier to work when somebody's with you. Hey, the color outside has changed. Look at that. Look at that. That means, that means my windows are really dirty, doesn't it? Look at those dirty windows. I have to get these windows cleaned up. If I expect to have a nice time watching the snow, my gosh. Nancy, priorities, please. Willem does the dishes. I won't think about that. You know, some of these never got used at all. Most of them didn't get used. Anyway, so what do we do now? We could do the window. We could clear off the table. We could put this thing back over there where it goes. 
we could move the ties. These are the ones I put on my snowman. They were my father's ties. And although I had no use for them, I brought them home and decided I would make a, um, I would make a blanket out of them. I'm going to weave them into a blanket. Oh, and I found this clamp. So if you want to sit down somewhere, just let me know and I'll put you there. And I moved the table and I put a chair here. Boy, is it ever cold today. <laughs> Let's see what we're doing here. Let's turn up the heat. Now that's the sound I like. How do you clean this? Well, it might start if you got a dust thing, Nancy. Maybe wet it. Those things, there's those things with the, like, for cleaning Venetian blinds that probably work on that. Look at this big pile of mess over there. This is the remnants of Zane having a wonderful time with, um, we had a rain, a rainstorm of clay. And it all went from there and it hit there and some of it left little spots. Look at those little spots. Ah, oh, isn't that sweet? Yes, I have a reason why the cupboards are dirty now. And see, I can say, oh yeah, they've just, they've just been played with. <sighs> I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this at all. What do I want to do? I could use this, which has vinegar on it and the remnants of what the wood stove had on the door. But this is cold water here. Yuck. Look. Hey, that's what we should do. I got vinegar on here. We should just wash the windows. Let's see if we can do that. You know, I think it's outside. Shall we try and do it outside? How cold is it? Negative 13? I could put on a coat. Well, I don't need a coat. Let's just get some boots on. And oh, look, there's more dirty windows. Wow, we could be on a roll here. Anything to keep from cleaning the house. Let's go out and clean the windows. I have on a lot of layers already, see? Let's just get that window. I should dry it. But, you know, it might evaporate off. My hand is going to really freeze. You like the sound of that squeaky snow? Chickadee-dee-dee-dee. We should take the screen off, too. Who wants to look through a screen? Not me. Never me. Okay, screen off. Look at this, isn't this cool? Watch this. <laughs> Can we do it faster than it freezes? The ice ought to help scrub it. I guess you usually don't wash the windows when it's freezing. Oh well, details. Chicka dee 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 dee. Did I feed you? I think it's around the front. I moved it. They never know where I put it. But eventually they find out. Mostly it's because the squirrels are there and then... The... All right, let's just shake the ice off of this. We'll see what it looks like. It might not work at all. Or it might be amazing. I think it's not going to work at all. <laughs> Let's take this off too. So we can have a view. A room with a view. I wonder what the temperature is. Well, either way you cut it, it's pretty cold. Negative six. Something like that. going to fall off and it's going to be in the snow. Okay. <clears throat> yes, that must be the gift of prophecy. 
you think that is? Or do you think that would be like just regular knowledge? I guess when you sort of see it on the ground buried in the snow in your head, that might be the gift of prophecy. I don't know for sure. Okay, so yikes, this is cold. Let's put this back here in the window for as long as it stays there. Okay, hand cold. I have this whole load on the trailer and I'm not sure what to do with it. Look, they're not social distancing. Okay. I dreamed that I saw my grandchild and I ran over and hugged him anyway and I felt so guilty. I was being so bad. Oh, that's cold. Hmm. All right. Well, we shall see if it worked. Hello, hello, Ezra. Spielstra. You must be Dutch. I know those Dutch names. All right, let's, should we deal with this? Throw away all these things into the right places? Nah, we'll just take our wet rag and we will put it somewhere else. And we will go warm up our frozen hand. Oh yeah, we have to look at the, close the window. Huh. I wonder how long it'll take it to evaporate and I wonder if it will if it will leave dots. Oh, you're Dutch. So is that your married name or your maiden name? Look at that, ice on the windows. What did you think? Isn't this exciting? You know, I really have a messy room here. You know, we don't really need to look at it too much. But if we do look at it and focus on it, then we could clean it. What do you think? That would be fun. No, it would, it would be fun after it's clean, right? Okay, well, where should we put you? You want to stand around and watch? Sit around. You can sit around and watch. Can you see anything? Yes, so first, lemon juice. It goes in this cupboard here. Ta -da, ta -da. And look at what we have here. We have peanut butter, which could go in this cupboard here. And look what we also have. We have coconut oil. And look, even a lid. That is in the toast area. How come I had to burp it even? Huh. Never had to burp it before. It's just always and look what else we have. Rice cakes. And do you know where they go? They go in the snack drawer. We never had a snack drawer before because it would have been emptied immediately. So why would we do that? But now, because it's juicy. Hi. Oh, someone's saying something. Good morning, Skinner. Oops, stop. And Book of Uma, good morning. Oh, what's your dad's? Like? Of course, yes. So you are Dutch. Are, are you in Holland? And Leonard Skinner, good morning, Nancy. So nice to see you. It's cold, snowing Monday morning. It's not snowing here yet. We're getting ready. It's going to be like Christmas today. So we should make Christmas cookies. Oh. I've already done the windows, you see? These are all prepared for frosty snow. You know how some people, they get that spray. <laughs> They get that spray and they paint the windows with this stuff that looks like snow. Well, I just washed them. Now, and it turned to ice as soon as I was doing it. So the question is now, because it was lemon juice on the washcloth, will the calcium in the water make stains on my windows? Or, as I'm hoping, will the lemon juice destroy the calcium so that... I think there's a lot of dots on the inside. I think that's fly dirt. Could it be fly? Oh, look! Snow is coming! Big flakes there first. Well, there, unless that was a big feather from a flying, you know, snow boot or something. Okay, so we have other things to do here now. We are cleaning up. Because today is family day. I saw my family. Elida came to pick something up. She didn't come in, but I saw her. 
I saw her and I spoke to her through the window, cracked open a little bit. And who else did we see? Scarlet and friend, and they were here, and we had a social, we put all the leaves in the table. See, I changed it around one look, and then I made a mess. See, I turned it, isn't that pretty? Okay, so let's clean it. So this goes upstairs, because it hasn't been finished again. This is the category of basket repair. Well, I think that the winter weather driving is more than, than you think. I think that the problem with winter driving is that um, unless you're, unless the ground is frozen, when the, when the snow falls on it, it melts and it becomes slippery and nobody can drive on that. That's the most dangerous time. It doesn't matter if you're in Canada or anywhere. Of course, they think they can, but they can't. See, I'm using all the nice dishes whenever anyone comes. Because this is Grandma's house. And Grandma's house can be like that. Oh, look, this is going to be part of my, my um, thing I'm making upstairs. Oh, and look at this cool picture. I found this in the sunroom yesterday. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? That's like Farmington. I have to show that to my cousin. All right, so look at we're making progress. We've moved through this area. Wait, we have this. We have water. We have a clothespin. Do you want to have tea? We'll have some nettle tea. I think this is my daughter's. of things that can be tossed in there. Look, can we have... I wonder if this would come back. If you cut the end off that, let's see what happens. I'll have to turn you around. I'll have to push you down. I'll cut her off and cut her off her. And we shall cut it off like so, and we will put it in some water. We could put it in all that water, but that would be overkill. So we'll just underkill. in the water. You put it in the window. Right up against. Turn around. Okay. Put it in the window. This is my pine bark box. Birch bark and porcupine quill. All right. I keep all these little things. And I forget where the clothespins go. I'm not sure. All right, so. Look at that, look at that. Whoa, we made progress. Okay, let's, let's do something with this corner. So maybe these things need jars. What do you think? Let's get some jars. Will they or will 
Summer. It's good because I can make a lot. Enough for you and me. Nettles from the garden. See? Now, wouldn't it be nice if all these things actually had a place in the cupboard? Instead of making the cupboard so counters so full. Oh, there was enough water. It's perfect. Okay. We shall set it over here on our clean ish area. Okay, here we go. Let's see if we can do this without sewing. It's going to fill that whole jar up, too. Oh, no. Can you imagine having that many left? And that many, if I had no room, that many would be really good. What could I stretch with that? You know? Potatoes. Okay. And next, I have some millets here. Do you like millet? I like millet. It's kind of like rice, except it doesn't make my body hurt the way rice does. But it's very much like rice. It's a rice substitute. But you can't have it every day because it'll mess up, oops, it'll mess up your thyroid. If you have it every single day, you can overdose. So, you know, you can have it, I don't know. Once a week, twice a week, but just not every single day. You just put it in boiling water. It takes 15 minutes. It's just to cook it like rice. You bring it to a boil, and you let it sip. Or you can boil it for 15 minutes, but I don't think you need to do that. Okay, and then we have our cocoa, which we make sugar. Would you like me to make chocolate for you? Would you like that? I bet you would. Look at that. We have four people, and we have a thumbs up. I could make chocolate, but maybe I should keep, keep going with this for now. You can see me if I put you up there, but you can't see what I'm doing unless I put it on top of the jar. What a silly way to do it. There's going to be too much here to fit into this jar. Can you tell by looking at that? Maybe if I got a wide mouth jar, it would fit. Let's do that. Life. Oh, I don't. You don't have to be on top of the box, do you? There we go. Get inside the pine bark box. Do you want to have that light out of your eyes? There you are. I have to take care of you. Okay, now we don't need that one. So we need to use this one. How much more do you think it holds? It's a little shorter. Probably exactly the same. Bernardin. Bernardin and Mason, Golden Harvest. It used to be Bell, too. Remember that? I have a book on canning book. It's by Bell for Belgium. Belgium, I guess. Okay, let's not go in big. Let's just, everybody just line up and start moving it slowly. Let's stay slow. No, no, 
No avalanching, okay? Avalanching, no avalanching. That's working pretty good, isn't it? Okay, slowly, slowly. Look at that, you just fit. All you little chocolate bits. And there we have it. Is how you do it. Cocoa. Cocoa. Cocoa for cocoa powder. Cocoa for cocoa puffs. Remember that? Do you remember that? Show? Okay, look at that. We've got rid of three little items there. Now we have these little bits of peas. And I will just put them aside and we'll eat them for dinner. We'll stick them in the Instant Pot. Yes, the Weather Channel says. Okay then, put this in here again. Um, I'll dispose of this plastic bag. All that's in my garbage anymore is plastic bags. You realize that? Plastic bags. All right, well, let's move over here since that side over there is now so spotless. Let's look at it. Yes, a good washing will help. What about the table? Shall we do the table? What about the dishwasher? No, it's work. How about over here? I brought this in from the car. It's frozen solid. I think this is trash. I mean, it's part of a table, but it's not going to ever go back, and it'll just be trash later. So I might as well make it trash now. Can't burn it because it's got that stuff on one side. Oh, yes. But well, we aren't going to decide what everywhere looks like yet. No, no, it just keeps going and going and going. It's bigger than ever. We can pl plug that in, though. And this can come out of here. This is for my wonderful new Vitamix. Ben bought me, gave me a Vitamix. And this, this is shiny stuff. I don't think this is the burnable ones. It has to go in the garbage. This goes upstairs. And I'm gonna hang up my painting. This goes upstairs. And this and this have a bag that they go in. I don't know where that bag went though. Look, I cleared it off here. Look, it's getting so much better. And I think these packagings can go as well. They have to be dealt with. Okay. And then, of course, these are Willems. Did he finish? Didn't do that one yet. He did those, so that one stays, I guess. And this goes. Oh, I didn't shut the fire down yet. I should probably stick that log in. You like hanging out with me? One of you, four of you do. table beside there and we sit and eat and then I put everything there I make such a mess I make a mess everywhere I go you should see the old videos it's even worse all right come on lock up we go look at that we can see the fire Amazing. A E M A Z. This stuff has got to have a spot in there. It was going to go sit on top of the freezer, which is still in here, awaiting transport. There. Look at that. We're back. I decided I would cut some of these bananas and 
dehydrate them. So, you can sit there if you want. So, I have to get a knife and a board. I'll get a board and a knife. To wash my hands, wash my hands first. gonna have a party and you're gonna be here and I'm gonna be here and and if you're here and I'm here who else do we need? don't. Okay, now what's that green thing? That's the bag. The pears, which are not processed. As the oranges. all that stuff I could. Oh, someone is saying something. Um, well, I was trying to clean and I washed the windows outside and they're still a little bit frozen looking. They aren't really. Anyway, and now I, I was tidying up and now I'm going to put these bananas in the dehydrator. There we go. Now it's better. So this will just take a minute. I don't need a knife and a board. I don't do it that way. I do it this way. Like so, and then I put them in here. Are you coming back? It looks like you might be. Oh, look, you are. I don't know what's with my internet. It, you know, it goes on the blink and sometimes it just turns off. Hey, these bananas have seeds in them. Have you ever tried to grow a banana plant? I mean, it's rather a silly thing to do because you could never put it outside. Well, maybe you could, but... Did you like that cool new way? Oh wait, we have a little battery situation. Sorry about the situation. <clears throat> so it's another day. The day called today. And so shall it be called forever. Have you ever had dehydrated bananas? They're nothing like the dehydrated bananas you get in the store. Those things are like crackers. Tasteless crackers. These are like totally like sugar. But they're just plain. Nothing in them. But they really do taste good. And they're chewy. Good stuff, eh?
And if you've got a, a bit of a, a bruise, there's nothing wrong with your bruise at all. It's very healthy. And the sugars have just become more. So it tastes great when you dehydrate it. It's just great. I usually wait until they're overripe. But, hmm. Sometimes they just don't ripen properly. When they're green, you think they would, but no. Okay, that one's ready. You can make a dehydrator. There's all kinds of stuff on the internet about it. Let's get some of these that are... These three have dots on them. Oh, this one's... Oops. This one's got a bruise on it that's a bigger bruise, so I'm going to cut that off. It's really cool when you see these little seeds. husband loves dehydrating. Just loves it. He dehydrates all summer. Everything. And it's almost become like it's all his dehydrating equipment and everything. But that's okay. I can back off. I did, I did my own stuff for years. These are kind of thick. Willem doesn't like them thick. He likes them paper thin. I like them thick because they're kind of, they're better. They're chewier and, mm. and the edges are higher than the middles when they, when they're dry. see what's happening? Not really, eh? That's the trouble with Nancy today is, you know, I might be kind of nice or whatever, but I really make crappy videos. Most people edit and make them good. Two left. to have things like bananas. And you certainly can't grow them in Canada. Do you know that in Germany, they keep the prices of the food. Food is always priced low so that people can always afford all the food. Organic, everything is cheap because people need food. They can do without other things, but not food. You shouldn't have to eat macaroni because they can't afford blueberries and raspberries, you know? Now these will turn brown when they're cooking or when they're drying. There we go. And then we just... Look at that. Isn't that cool? It's like a monkey's been here. I'll leave that on the counter. I'll let Willem come and look at that. Put them back together, I wonder. Could hang them on one of those banana hangers. <laughs> yeah, cool. I'll put it over here for a little. Okay, he's going to.
going to get it and he's going to say, what happened to the bananas? Here's another one. I like doing it that way. Do you like it that way? It works so much easier. You don't have to deal with this thing here. It's easy. So this will have to go somewhere and get plugged in and turned on. Eh, sometimes. Okay, let's wash our hands again. And we'll be done with that one. Yay! We're making so much progress. But we're not making progress in the right things. You know, what we really need to do is unload that load. Build some sawhorses to put the load on. It slid toward the car. And it's like two millimeters from the car, the boards. Not good. Not good at all. And I should move my car closer to the road so that I don't have to... We don't have to shovel that much to get it out if we have to get out. But I don't have any brakes in it, so what's the difference? No. Alright, so hey, I made hummus yesterday. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Hummus. What's that sound? A bird in a house. That's really good. Okay, what should we do now? You know what I was thinking I was going to do? Which would be much more fun than fixing things or cleaning. I'll show you what I, was, what I have to do here. So I have to, have to put this back together. Those things go in the bag over there of charcoal. Those are my father's ties. This is for pulling. I have to also put this in the lid. I cut it. This is all the stuff that was on the floor under it when I... Is that bear spray? Something dangerous. Be careful with that one. Uncovering more items. Items, items, ha ha ha. Items, items, ha ha ha. We had it clean. Look, and then I got there again. And now here I am here again. Ready to make a mess wherever I can. Oh, I should close the wood stove too. Look, there I am. I put my hat back on. I needed my hat yesterday, it was so sunny. So these are the shoes that don't have any mates anymore, which I cannot bear to throw away. So I have them. Why, where are the mates? How can you lose mates? They must be here somewhere. This does not belong in here. When there's stuff in here already? Yes. It's all so much work. Look at these were all the these this was the stuff that Zane made and threw at the walls and on the floor. It was the rain. He had such a good time doing that. So much fun to hang around children. And we made cheese for his pizza. We made clay cheese.
these go with those. Now we have more of them. And this is from a something or other. Okay, that's it. I'm done. I'm sick of it. I'm going to sit down now. Or I'm going to do something useful. Like watch the birds. I didn't take the plastic off this yet. Wonder if they found a hole in it. Maybe I should put a hole in it. Maybe I'll get that knife. Just stick a hole in it for them. Those are from my boots. enough. So they don't really have a place to sit while they do that, do they? That way they don't have to get it all on the floor. 